Hello Vikings and welcome back. Um, there was a Windows update over the weekend and uh, it has caused absolute havoc on my, um, well, all my settings for everything. Uh, so uh, all the recording I did yesterday had no audio whatsoever. Um, so... Uh, I guess <laughs> it's time for another top five. And uh, today we'll do top five jets, starting with the F3D1 at number five. Um, it's a nice plane, both in air and ground battles. Uh, as you can see, I have been using it ground battles last. Uh, Massive bombs, unfortunately, they drop simultaneously. Um, it's a naval plane, so you can carry a land if there is a carrier on the map. Um, does it actually have two pilots? It does! Double the pilots means double the uh, pilot snipe ability. <laughs> Uh, it has a very nice radar and 420 mils and just overall a fairly decent plane and I quite enjoy flying it. At number 4 we got the Arado 234C3. I'm not actually sure if I prefer this or the C... is it the C2? The B2. Um, they have the same bomb load. The C3 just gets guns and twice the number of engines um, or double the number of engines they are decent in air um, especially the 631 um, but in ground in particular they are absolutely devastating with three 500 kilogram bombs dropped individually uh, and yeah just a nice, fairly nimble plane for a bomber, nice and fast. And swoop in, get the three kills and get out before anybody really gets a chance to do anything about it. Um, so that's why it's number four. Number three. We got an interesting one that most people probably dislike quite a lot. The J-29A. Um... And uh, th th this is quite possibly <laughs> somewhat due to Stockholm Syndrome. Um, I've played this plane quite a lot. Uh, and at first I absolutely hated it, but it kind of grew on me. And now I freaking love flying the barrel. Um, it's just... A weird and wonderful plane and you don't see a lot of people using it so most people don't really know what it's capable of and that just makes it so much more fun at number two we got another Swede the SK60 um, there is exactly one reason and one reason only why this is so high on the list um i mean it's a decent little attacker does get some some pretty nice armament for ground uh you get <laughs> some fairly decent uh head to ground missiles and the twin 30s can do a lot of hurt as well but this is currently the only plane in the game that has reverse thrust that you can use mid-flight, which means that you can do some absolutely ridiculous maneuvers while dogfighting. Um, even though it's not the most mobile plane there is. Uh, decent speed, decent mobility, but being able to deploy air brakes and reverse thrust and just drop speed like a freaking brick through mud you can really take some people by surprise if you do it right and it is so much fun and also you can land and reset caps and ground a lot easier than most other jets plus again you got the twin pilots so lots of fun there and it's a very small plane so yeah a bit of a unique one at number two 
And finally, at number one, we got probably one of the most iconic early jets, um, the Meteor Mark III in this case. Um, did enter service before the 262, actually, but uh, it was never used offensively because advanced tech and expensive stuff and Brits being weird. Most of its service lies was flipping over V1 rockets um, while intercepting them and found the best way to deal with them was just fly up next to them and tip them over. In-game, I mean, the best way I can describe this is a freaking Spitfire with jet engines. It turns like an absolute demon um the speed isn't the best but if you can lure someone into a dogfight you have won nine out of ten times and that last time is uh usually when you get smacked by someone else <laughs> uh 420 millimeter cannons really nice armament all mounted in the nose just i freaking love this plane just the looks and everything it's just ah Anyway, yeah, little emergency video for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what your top fives are, or what you think of mine. Probably not good stuff. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one.